Okay, uh, welcome again. This is now the next tutorial to guide you through navigating the digital campus. I'm currently in a student's. Uh, once uh, you've logged into the digital campus successfully, uh, this is what you get to see. So I'm currently using a particular uh, a live student's account for me to be able to demonstrate this. So once you log in, the dashboard is what you get to see first. The dashboard basically shows you literally everything within uh, the, uh, the digital campus. Uh, so you have a window or a screen that is split into three parts. You have the left panel, you have this middle section, you also have a right section. So the left panel, let me briefly talk about this. So this is the account. Any settings that you want to change uh, within the account, like your profile picture, your password, of which we advise that every time you log in to the digital campus for the first time, please make sure you change your password because this is the only way to keep your account secure. Uh, so the notifications, how do you want to be notified on any digital campus function or process that happens? Uh, all of this is actually done within the account section. Then you have the dashboard. This is what you get to see. This is actually the first page or the landing page every time you log into the digital campus successfully. Remember, if you have an issue of your password, please reach out to our support officers and we have a support officer for each of the schools. Then you have the courses. The courses will list for you the courses that you are undertaking that this particular semester. But if you click on all courses, You'll get to see this student has actually registered for six courses. However, against two of these courses, you'll get to see something referred to as unpublished. A course that is published means that that course has been made available by the lecturer for your viewing. Uh, otherwise, if the lecturer has not availed the resources, uh, you will actually get to see the course as unpublished meaning you need to reach out to the course instructor for access so you can reach out to our support officers then we'll be able to reach out to the relevant lecturer so please make sure if by the end of the second week your course is still not published please reach out to us and we'll be able to follow up from the lecturer so you'll notice this student has registered for six four are published and two are not and uh, so you can click on the dashboard and you'll get to actually see the four courses, a tile representing each of the four courses that have been published. Going back to the courses, uh, sometimes like for students who registered previously, uh, for like the students in first trimester 2020, those courses are still availed for them on the dashboard. So what happens is that it will clutter their dashboard because it will show both first trimester courses and second trimester courses. However, you have a workaround just to display the courses of that particular trimester. There's a star on the left side, and this star tells you that if you click on it, it will actually show you, uh, it will add it to the courses menu. So this, uh, you can click and notice the color of the star changes from gray to mustard. And uh, for an unpublished course, that will be, it will not be possible for you to do so. So I have put the four courses and notice it will still show up. Uh, if, for example, I don't want quantitative analysis to be displayed, for example, for a particular week, I just want to focus on one course, let's say financial accounting, I can uh, maybe uh, display all of this, uh, deselect, sorry, so that I only have financial accounting. And you'll notice now only financial accounting is actually displayed on my dashboard. So this is basically a way in which you can be able to decide what courses you want being displayed on the dashboard. So so once I'm done with that, the next, uh, sorry, let me just go back to... Um, uh, calendar. The calendar displays for me uh, the list of activities that need to be done. Uh, so there'll be a calendar for each of the courses. So that you'll be able to see. So if there's anything, especially assignments, you'll get to see a small rectangle displaying each of the activities and when their due dates are. 
So right now you'll notice that we don't have any activities yet because the semester is still new. Uh, and that is, and for you as a student, you can always pre-plan yourself. You can always, let's say, for example, click on a date here, put an activity that you want. For example, work, work on an assignment, and then uh, maybe you want to do it on that mm -hmm. day and click on submit. So what happens is that it will be appended to the seven. So I'm not doing that right now because uh, this is a live student's account. Then there's an the inbox. The inbox is the emailing facility that has been provided by the digital campus. Uh, this is where you will, this left section of the inbox, you'll get to see all the mails you have received. And on the right side, you'll get to see uh, the content of each of the mails. If you select right now for this particular student, there's nothing. However, very importantly, you can compose a message, for example, to the financial accounting lecturer so you'll be required to select which course you want to write an email to for which particular individual so i can select financial accounting there then for the people they I remember that we are two categories is a teacher and the other students and you can decide you can write to one of the students for example for example i can write to this particular student and for it just uh a hi so I'll just say hi and click on send or uh, on the other hand if I want to write to the lecturer please click on teachers over here and then you'll notice the lecturers for this particular course maybe you just want to talk to Christopher for example I can delete this and uh, same thing so I can click on hi and I'll click on send so the inbox facility as I mentioned uh, in, during the training is that uh, please use this facility for any time you want to write an email to the lecturer. Please do not write to their personal emails. Uh, for follow-up, the best is to use the inbox facility. So these are basically the items. So I want to now go back to accounts and it's under account that we'll be able to change our profiles, the settings, the notifications, and you can also create a portfolio about yourself and make it public so that the rest of us, let's say the lecturers and your classmates, can get to see that. First, I'll go to the profile. And uh, in the profile, I can be able to add a profile picture. You can take a picture or you can upload it from your computer. Uh, once you're done with that, you can edit your profile. You can tell us something more about yourself. Do you have a a Facebook page or a Twitter handle, do you have a blog, something that you'd like us to see, you can be able to add all of that here and click on save profile. Then there's the settings. I'd like to jump to settings right now and uh, would you want to change your password? You can click on edit settings and uh, you can be able to click on change password. Uh, you have to put in your old password. Remember the first password or the default password is normally your mobile number without the zero at the front and then uh, you know you can type in your new password and confirm it and click on update settings you can also add another contact method or even add uh, an email address so you can add an email address over here and click on register and it will be registered in the digital campus so once you're done with that, the next thing is notifications. How do you want to be notified on any activity that happens within the digital campus? Personally, I would uh, recommend that you click on notify me right away, especially like if you have a real time or an online class that's going to happen and the lecturer has posted it. It's always good that you maybe like click on notify me right away that any content or any file has been uploaded by the lecturer you will be notified immediately. So this is about uh, the notification preferences and notice the email address that has been provided. This email address is where all of these notifications will go to uh, depending on how or what preference you have provided. And uh, that's about the notifications. Then there is the e-portfolio. The e-portfolio is where you'd like to talk about yourself so I can create an e-portfolio, give it a particular name, 
and then make sure you make it public so that the rest of us can see that. So that's basically uh, similar to what you'll do on your normal social media pages. And that's how simple it is also on the digital campus. Uh, I'll now jump to the dashboard. The dashboard is basically where all activities take place. At the beginning here or at the top of the dashboard, normally you'll get to see global announcements provided by the Center for Virtual Learning team. Like you'll notice that we have the second trimester teaching timetable. A link has been provided to that. We also have an announcement that we are on Telegram also. Then very importantly, also our learning support officers uh, contacts. Please, if you're in the School of Business, please reach out to these support officers for any of your issues. Similarly, for education, medicine, School of Science, and you or you can also reach out to us through our digital campus email address, and this is it. Now, the dashboard displays a tile for each of the courses that you want, for each of the courses that you have registered for and are published by the lecturer. Remember, I mentioned that publishing means it has been made available to you as a student. So I'll pick this particular uh, course, for example. Uh, and let me just describe the content of the course. You have the course title, the course code, and the trimester in which that course is being uh, offered. Then you have an icon for uh, announcements, you have an icon for discussions, and you have an icon for files. The dashboard also has two views. It has a view for uh, you viewing a tile for each of the courses that you've registered into. And there's also the view of recent activities, what you need to know or what you need to do. And you'll get to see there's an announcement here and there's some discussions here that need to be looked into. So that's about navigating or the, the dashboard or the page that you log into, or up, the page that you get to view after you've successfully logged into the digital campus. Thank you.